Someone stole my generator and I can't do anything about it. I feel so powerless. You're welcome. Hey, so today we got the Blue 80 AC 200P. It's a portable power generator. Man, and this thing's crazy. It's really cool. It is, yeah. yeah it's it's like neat. by far the most powerful one we've got yet. We mm -hmm. have another one from Blue Eddy and it's awesome. It was the 150 mm -hmm. and it was 1500 watts, I think, I think with so. a thousand watt hours. But this yeah. one here is 2000 watts and 2000 watt hours. Yeah, it's neat. That's like our, our generator. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Except it don't take gas, no oil, none of and that. It doesn't make the annoying noise of a generator. Yeah. Like, well, there's so a million things that the generator has to do. Yeah. So, and this thing here, you can charge it with solar, and you can charge yeah. it or in your vehicle, or you could charge it uh, just plugged in, right? Yeah. And you can charge it. You can actually plug it in with two different things. It only comes with one, but you can get another one and charge it, or you can charge it with the solar and the power at the same time. It's crazy. It's really neat. 2,000 watt hours is a lot of hours. That so. is a lot. So that's pretty crazy. So I'll tell you a few things about it. So because it doesn't use any gas or oil to charge it, to get it running, it's a lot more environmentally friendly than a generator and a lot quieter, which is super awesome. Yeah. I do love that. And we told, when we told my dad about it, mm -hmm. uh, he was there when we were opening it up and he was like, man, that'd be a good thing to have for outages because then you wouldn't outages. have to... He said he could just keep it in, and he keep it inside or outside too. Yeah, yeah. But you, you wouldn't have to go out and charge it up or anything. All you do is yeah. just keep it charged, and then you're good to go. Because if it, you're going to lose power, it's probably in the winter, and who wants to go out in a snowstorm and go start a generator? Yeah. This thing would be great. Yeah, so it was pretty cool, like, just for seeing his reaction to it, right? Yeah. Which was yeah, cool. And yeah. being able to keep it inside in 2,000 watt hours a long time. And then if you needed to recharge it while you're in your outage, you put the solar panel out. Mm -hmm. Or you can keep plugged in the whole time. It doesn't yeah. matter. So there's a lot of different ways you could use it. Yeah. Or you can go out in your car and start it up. And yeah, if you're already going it somewhere, take but, it with you. But as far as like not having to use fuel at all, you could just charge it with the solar. Yeah, which is really great yeah. and environmentally friendly for sure. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. So obviously, like, if someone were going to use this for camp and tailgate and things like that, like I can think of, especially years ago, a time I would have used it a million times, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But nowadays us personally how we would use it we're, we plan to build another off-grid uh cabin and right now we're camping too so if there's power out here i mean we'd still have power yeah. but we were going to use it because we're going to build another off-grid cabin and we'll just take that with us we will that'll be so great you could power uh, we were already powering with smaller devices like the tv and stuff just so you go watch fights or hockey on a saturday night mm -hmm. and then running the little pump we could plug it in to run the pump for a short period of time or whatever yeah, this water. thing here is more powerful so we would definitely run that pump yeah. no problem right yeah it's crazy like so we'll use it to bring to our cabin and just have power available whenever we want yeah instead of setting up like a whole solar system or having the big generator there we can totally just use this yeah we can have like the solar like attached to a solar panel to just keep recharging it and when we show up it'll always be full well to use. no what i was saying is you just keep this charged at home and you bring it mm -hmm, you just bring too. it with you it's already charged yeah. off your regular power at your house yeah and then you bring this and then if you're getting low you can just charge it on the panel yeah it's, it's like a awesome. perfect setup it is, right yeah. so it's going to make it just makes it that much easier to camp right mm -hmm. so it's perfect that way yeah and then obviously like we said with like backup somebody's just losing power just having something like this on hand would be sweet mm -hmm. we'll use it for we, sure right yeah we plan on going tenting this summer so bringing it with us tenting will be really awesome mm -hmm. you could boil water in the kettle for oatmeal or coffee or anything yeah do a lot of things with it what's crazy too is somebody actually runs that uses this to run their cpap machine Oh yeah. At night. Yeah. Yeah, and it like, like it's because it's quiet and everything. Yeah, it would be. That's so one of the ways they were promoting it, like, is for somebody like that. So if there's a power outage, they could plug it into this or whatever and be good to go still, right? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. That is really cool. That's something cool. I wouldn't even think about. It's just I just noticed that somebody was doing that. And another bonus, because we do live in the 21st century, and everybody always has their cell phones on them everywhere they go, whether you're camping, whether you're in a power outage. The top here has an actual charger. Yeah, any of the newer phones, you can just set right on there. Yeah. That is super cool. 15 watts at a time. I know, because, yeah. like, obviously to a lot of people, a cell phone is a very important thing to have charged up. Man, who doesn't have a cell phone nowadays? Yeah. Anybody watching this video probably has a cell phone. Yeah. Like, at 99% do. Yeah. There may be, like, one guy. I don't. 
Yeah. But he's still, but do. they're still on YouTube. Yeah. So they're like a step away from having it. Okay, or if you want to charge your computer, you can just plug it into one of these spots somewhere. Just plug your computer in and power it. There's like, <laughs> you can literally power 17 devices simultaneously. That's yeah, how that's many outlets cool. are in it. That's, that's crazy. So that. And it's got like a touch screen here. So you can go through all the settings. Tells you the system temperature. It's pretty crazy. It's quite a, quite a rig. And there's the 100% that tells you how much power you got. And then when you plug it in, it'll tell you how much coming in. This is how you turn the DC on, right? And you would turn it on. Same thing with the AC, so pretty, uh, pretty simple. And any faults would tell you right down there and you, it would tell you. So like we said, it's 2,000 watt hours, 2,000 watts. So that's insane. That's a ton of power for a unit like this. Mm -hmm. Our generator, like I said, the same thing. Our smaller one. So it has a 2,000 watt AC inverter in it. Yeah, so that's sweet. That's cool. Yeah. You know what else is really crazy too? Is I show I saw somebody charging a Tesla with it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nuts. So you can charge like a motorized scooter or a Tesla car. Oh, so that is doing cool. It. I know, right? That's so that's crazy. pretty crazy. And it's like 12 volt, 25 amp. So like any DC stuff like that. If you have DC items, plug those in. And when you buy it, it comes with like the MC4 connectors for solar. So that comes with it. The able to charge it comes with the DC charging comes with it. So all that stuff comes with it. You just have to get yourself a panel and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it has an MC4 connector. So that's like a standard connector for solar panels anyhow. So the solar charging is 700 watts at a time is like the max it can bring in. So that's pretty sweet. It's mm -hmm. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You can obviously use it and charge it at the same time. So that's deadly. Yeah, like that's you, you can do both at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So like keeping a solar panel on it if you're out. That's what we'll be doing a lot probably once we're building our cabin again. Because mm -hmm. then you can just run all the time. This game could run a skill saw. Yeah, that's cool. Right? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Obviously for building, we'll have like our big generator to run our chop saw and nail gun and all that uh, compressor. But you don't always have to use that stuff. And a lot of time we're just using uh, hands-free drills and stuff that mm -hmm. you could just have the batteries charging on this thing the whole time while you're there without having to run a generator or anything. Yeah, that'll so, like, be good. Because, yeah, and it's annoying listening to a generator all day. Yeah, you're when you're right. out, you know. So having something quieter that can do that while you're there, I mean, Makes that's sweet, nice. right? And not have to worry about not having battery power. So yeah, or running out of fuel. Yeah, yeah, or running out of fuel exactly, and then yeah. having to run around with fuel or carry fuel yeah. on you. Like, man, trust us, we know what we're talking we about. We sure do. We've done it for the last few years. That stuff. So having something to provide power in a better way. It's so already, important. We did we, almost three years off grid, so we know about it. Yeah, we've already been doing already did it so yeah. we know what we're talking about it yeah. definitely would be it would <laughs> definitely come in handy the more power you can get without having to have gas and oil and all that stuff and listen yeah. to that stuff or have to always have it is just so much better worth its weight in gold right yeah and speaking of weight 60 pounds the weight yeah 60.6 .6 pounds so it's got a little weight to it but man it's made well right mm -hmm. and it's nice that it's all compacted into one one unit the inverter yeah. the everything it's all just in this instead of carrying multiple items around. So a few items that can be powered off this are a fridge, a coffee maker, a grill. A TV, electric frying pan, a microwave. That's cool. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> a heater, a kettle, like I mentioned before, a blender, things yeah, like that. Yeah, we use the... We use the, the small, blender. We use like the small ones all the time. Yeah. To make like small shakes. Yeah. Uh, Toaster, saw, mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, you can mm -hmm. do a saw, right? Yeah, for sure. And like a blower and a weed whacker and different lawn things like that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And man, obviously everybody's applications are personal, so. Yeah. Whatever you could think to use it for. Oh, we'll, we'll test it here on a few different things oh, that yeah. we have and that we're, we would use it for. Yeah, we're gonna give her a good test. We, our plans are gonna be like that cabin for sure. Yeah. While we're building it and then having it there for mm -hmm. bringing it to the hunting camp all the time. Yeah. It'd be perfect. The, so, and the batteries, I wanna to touch on that, they're lithium ion batteries. So way safer batteries, better batteries. They don't need no maintenance to them whatsoever. So that's pretty sweet. It's like 3,500, over 3,500 cycles they can go through. Oh, that's so great. that's pretty crazy. So having said all that, let's go test it out. So I could really use a coffee right now, so I'm gonna try the Keurig out. Give it a test go on here. Well, it's running this fan already. Yeah, right. Oh. 
So far, so good. What's he using for power? 1,400. That's a big sucker, eh? The Keurig, yeah. yeah I know. She's doing it, and that's running the fan at the same time, right? Yeah. So you still got 600 watts to use almost. It's pretty good. That's sweet. It's not ready yet, but. So we really wanted to give it a good try. That's why we got the Keurig and the fan going. And as it heats up, it uses the most power. So right now it's going between 1390 and 1404. All right. It looks like the fan's not even spinning on the video, but on this you can see it zooming. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah. Smells good. There we go. It's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Mm, that's deadly. And this went down 4% after that. Mm -hmm. So after putting 1400 watt surge on it for duration of that, it took it down 4%. Okay. I mean, most people aren't going to carry a Keurig around them. Yeah. We just wanted to test it just for a good little surge of power. Okay. Right now, we added the battery charging. So we'll be using that all the time. Yeah. Charge the power, the power tools. So that's, that's sweet. To be able to do that without running, like we were saying earlier. So we have another one. We have a, the Ryobi battery plugged in now too. So it's, none of this stuff takes like, it's not even taking 100 watts. Oh so this goodness. here, once it gets 100, if it's 2000 watt hours, right? Then you get 20 hours of charging just out of this little stuff. And again, wanted to show the Keurig because of how much power it pulls. Let's yeah. try something else. Let's see what we can get plugged in here. Right, the back of the tailgate's getting pretty filled up here. Now everybody knows a toaster takes lots of power. This particular toaster here is 750 watts. So it's about half of what that was running, but whatever. But you have more plugged in too now. But yeah, we do. So with that running now, it's at 815. No issues whatsoever. And the battery's still at 95%. The toast is burning, hey? Maybe we should pop it. Pop her, just pop her yourself. Yeah, <laughs> so obviously it works. So now I'm gonna add a little of this apple jelly to my toast that was made on our, that was made out of the trees on our property that we're buying, that we're gonna be moving into in like Made out of the apples that are on the trees, isn't it? Yeah, what it's I It's not made out of pure tree. No, so these, this jelly is made from actual apples on our new property, which is really cool. I'm gonna be excited to try that myself. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be living there in like, Two weeks. Yes, we can't wait. So that's like we're on a campsite right now, if that's what you mm -hmm. see where we're doing the test. Yeah. We're doing it on a campsite. Well, we wait for the closing of the new house because our house sold a lot faster than we expected. Yeah. <laughs> Throw that on. I want to try it. All right. So as you can see, uh, it has the DC plugs and all that too. This here one, that's a PD, 60 watt. That's not always on there. Like that's a sweet plug to have. And then there's the USB ports. Then this other one, this other 12 volt, see different kind of outlets too. And then six of those, the charge ones over there, all the stuff we showed you. So we gave it a pretty good test for what we could do, at least where we're at right now. I think so. With these batteries, the Keur I mean, that Keurig pulls a lot of power. And yeah. just with the stuff we've done, and this stuff's still doing it, it's at 93%. And that's after running the toaster. The that's Keurig. 750, this is 14 something. And then the fan was burning the whole time and these things have been charging, a couple mm -hmm. of batteries. But so, you know, like, at a, at a, for us at our hunting camps, it's slash proper location, yeah. slash whatever, it's going to be sweet. And then mm -hmm. we'll have ours, we'll be using the solar. We'll be bringing it charged and then using the solar to keep it topped up when we're there. So yeah. it's going to be perfect. So it's a simple way to basically have your whole solar system all set up like right there. Yeah. If you just, 2,000 watts is plenty for a camp. Plenty, for sure. Right? So. So much easier than setting up a bunch of panels it's and It's totally and so much easier, yeah. And, so much stuff it's all in one unit it yeah makes life simple yeah so for our particular spot so use your imagination for like what you could use it for mm -hmm. my my dad when he saw it he's uh when he saw it he th instantly he thought wouldn't that be great to not to have to have gas and stuff for a generator and yeah. i was like yeah really Pretty right powered, so good. and he doesn't have a camper it's just a normal house just mm -hmm. You lose power, especially up here in Canada. Yeah. The winter is pretty common to be out of power, so. Yeah. You, you know, it's all in one spot for you. Your deep freeze, your fridge, anything like that, and a power outage, you don't want your yeah. meat to get wrecked. Like, that's the main thing, yeah. is power outage. Exactly. 2,000 watts is plenty to keep that rolling. For sure. So. 
so it's good. Yeah, so let's try that out and wrap this up. I want a bite of that. I already know it's good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Did you say what it was? Apple jelly? Crab mm -hmm. apple jelly. I said it was from the trees on our land. <laughs> but it's actually crab apple jelly. Yeah, and it's so good. Yeah, so if you're new here, just stopping in for this. We actually built an off-grid cabin, lived in it for two and a half years before putting it on grid. Market was good, so we sold it. We have a whole story why we did that. Yeah. It was not a dream home or anything like that. It was actually a necessity. Okay. We were in the Army. I get sick, get released in the Army, so we had to do that. And now, after the last few years, we did that, sold that. Now we bought a farmhouse. We're moving in there. we got a whole bunch we got to do there. So yeah, pretty exciting. Fun, chilled out atmosphere on our yeah. channel. And we don't act like know-it-alls or none of that. We just, just do what we do and watch it. We just do like. it and watch it and try to motivate people to give her after setbacks because everybody yeah. has them. So. Yeah. Anyways, check this unit out. All the links are down below provided with this thing, and you can check it out for yourself. It's Anything that we didn't mention will all be listed when you go through the links and all that, and you can buy it and whatever. Yeah. So thanks to Blue Eddie for sponsoring the video. Thank you. See ya. See ya.